What is happening guys and welcome back to another video. Now one of the questions that I get asked quite a bit when it comes to cybersecurity and protecting yourself online is how can you change your IP address? Now I often go into quite a bit of detail with my videos but this particular question has a fairly simple answer so I'm going to keep it nice and simple. So to change your IP address online you're going to want to use a VPN. Now there are some good VPNs out there and some bad ones. Some of them have a lot of features but some of them can't live up to what they say they can do. Now there's three in particular that I recommend. They've always worked well for me and they're the top in their game. And I'm gonna put some links down in the description below and this will take you to the best possible price for these VPNs that you can get at the current time. These are also the VPNs that I'm going to be showing you in this video, so let's not waste any time. Let's jump onto the computer and we'll get to it. So the three VPNs that we're looking at today are ExpressVPN, and then we have NordVPN, and along with that we also have Surfshark. Now before I show you just how simple it is to change your IP address, I thought I'd just show you my current IP address. And this is the one just from my regular Sky Broadband connection. So what you're going to want to do is open your VPN, and this time we'll use Express, and simply hit the big connect button. And pretty much that is it. So now when we come back into this IP address checker, we can refresh the page and you'll see that it gives me a brand new IP address. It really was as simple as that. And likewise with both Nord and Surfshark, you can see that it's also a very simple process. There's a quick connect button here on Nord and you just click that, wait for a couple of seconds and again you'll be connected to a brand new fresh IP address. So if I just refresh the page here, you can see that takes immediate effect. And likewise with the third VPN, Surfshark, it has a very similar feature. So you just come into it and the button is on the right, hit connect and again it only takes a second or two and that is that. So now you're able to browse anonymously without anybody being able to trace you. Now your connection speed will vary from VPN to VPN, but in my experience Express has always been the fastest. This is followed closely behind by Nord, and then in third place with the speed we have Surfshark. But that doesn't mean it's too slow though, in the majority of cases you're not even going to notice a difference. Now if all you're wanting to do is change your IP address, that quick connect button works great. But as you can see, there are a huge list of countries on all of these VPNs, and these are the different countries which you can connect to servers from. And there's many reasons why people want to connect to the internet from different countries, and one of the main ones is to unblock country-restricted content from streaming sites such as Netflix. So by selecting a certain country on the list, you're then able to watch Netflix from that country's location, and you can find shows that aren't usually available in your home country and every single one of these countries will connect you to a new server, meaning you get a new IP address every time. Now when it comes to Express, they keep things really nice and simple, and this is absolutely great if all you're wanting to do is mask your home IP address. Every time you select a country, they'll just give you the fastest server in that country at the time, meaning that you'll get assigned a random IP address. However, sometimes there are times when you want your own IP address and you don't want it to be shared with other people on the network. And this is where Nord has a great feature. They have this dedicated IP section. And in this section, you can still choose from a small selection of countries, but what it does, once you're connected to one of the servers, that IP address will be assigned to you and you only. So if there's ever a reason when you need your IP address to be used for something specifically for yourself, but you don't want to use your home IP address, this can be a great option. Now Surfshark also has a great feature which you may find useful and that is the static IP section. These servers in this list will always give you the same IP address every time you connect. So if you want to mask your own IP address but every time you connect to a particular software or service and you want them to recognize that it's you, you can use these servers and every time you connect it won't think you're a new user. Now what you can do once you've found the ones that work best for you is you can add them to your favorites list and then they'll always be accessible in the favorites menu for next time you want to use them. So there we have it guys, as you can see the task of changing your IP address online is actually very simple when you use a VPN. 
And not only that, but the bonus of being able to connect to the internet from other countries' servers is a great thing when it comes to stuff like unblocking Netflix, for example. And just in general, your entire internet connection and your privacy online is going to be a lot more secure with a VPN than without one. But if literally all you want to do is to change your IP address and you're not bothered about any of the other features at all, then personally I'd recommend going with Surfshark purely because it's the cheapest. But if you're going to be downloading large files or streaming content online, then you might want to start taking a look at ExpressVPN or Nord purely because the speeds are going to be a little bit quicker than Surfshark. Now, these VPNs also have a lot of other features which I haven't covered in this video, but if you look in the description below, there'll also be links to individual reviews of each product. Along with that, I'll be dropping the discount links to all of these products, so if you want to get it at the best possible price, check those out and you'll be sure to save some money. So I hope this video has helped you to make a decision. I hope you've learned something, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. As always, stay safe online and I'll catch you on the next video.